Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Pieris japonica. It's uh, late March this year and this thing is in full bloom. It's, that, that's about right, um, late March and into April. Pieris will bloom for a good solid two or three weeks depending on the weather you get at any uh, given season. Pieris japonica is a native of Japan, um, giving us the specific name, japonica. And it's a member of the blueberry or azalea family, Ericaceae. One of my favorites and my wife likes it too. Um, you can see that the uh, white individual flowers on this cluster are bell-shaped like you would find in the blueberries. Um, they are uh, wonderfully fragrant. You're going to see some bees and other pollinators coming in and out of the picture as I talk about it. Pieris is a broadleafed evergreen. It stays with its leaves all year long. In the wintertime, they tend to bronze out just a little bit in the coldest weather, but otherwise, it's a lovely, lustrous, dark green. It's very useful in the landscape for that reason, um, for shielding views. For instance, your neighbor's derelict car collection, or perhaps you want to, to hide your swimming pool entrance from uh, the street. It's also great en masse as a shrub planting like we have here today at Marsh Botanical Gardens. There's about four plants in here. The ultimate height of Pieris for us is about 12 to 15 feet with a spread that's equal to that. There are varieties of Pieris that are smaller growing as well, the dwarf varieties that are useful for smaller situations like uh, perhaps uh, hiding the foundation uh, of, your, of your home. They will, some, some of them grow very slowly to about four to six feet. Um, there are some varieties that have uh, silver variegation or white variegation on the leaves and some with slightly uh, different flower colors. But it's very fragrant presence here. Uh, the nectaries are, are working it today as are the honeybees. To grow Pieris properly, you want an acid soil, as do most of the members of that family. You want partial shade, especially afternoon shade. Here in New England, I've seen Pieris growing quite successfully and beautifully in full sun. But further south, the warmer the summers get, the more you want to have a little afternoon shade for Pieris. The more sun that it gets, the more uh, floriferous it will be. But there's, a, but there's a balance that you have to give it um, when, in, say, in the mid-Atlantic area or in the south. I would uh, say that average uh, well-drained garden soil is, is important, but again, it has to be acid. And it loves to be situated uh, with other members of the family, Ericaceous family, like rhododendrons, azaleas, and mountain laurel. There are no serious pests or diseases um, to worry about with this plant. If it's situated correctly, well-drained soil is important. Although um, some lace bug and black vine weevil damage has been seen, it hasn't been uh, a deterrent to growing it in my opinion. It's a carefree plant that gives you that early spring color. Plant some daffodils around the front of it and you have a great spring display. Pieris japonica.